When you're working with classes, it's really important to remember that this variable that points to a class isn't actually equal to the class. All it is is a pointer. Let's look at this code in detail. Right here, I've got a class definition. The class is called person, and I've got two attributes. Nothing new here. Next up, I'm creating an instance of the class. I know I'm creating an instance because I've got my class name right here, open close parentheses, and I set it equal to this variable, Bob, over here. Again, nothing new. I've created an instance of the class. And then these two lines right here, I'm setting those attributes. Bob.name equals Bob. Bob.money equals 100. Therefore, the instance of this class pointed to by Bob has the name Bob, and it has $100. Everything so far is good. Now the question is, what is happening with this line right here on line 9? Before, when we did this type of thing, we'd do something like Nancy equals person, open, close parentheses. In this case, I'm saying Nancy equals Bob. Then I set Nancy's name to Nancy, and I print out Bob's names, Bob's money, Nancy's name, Nancy's money. Without realizing that classes and the variables that point to them are pointers, I might think that this prints out Bob 100, Nancy and zero because I never set the amount of money that Nancy has. But that's not the case. And when I run this program, I see it prints out Nancy has $100 twice. Why does this happen? Let's take a look. When I do Bob equals person, I've got a variable called Bob. And this constructor right here creates a new person. Poof. Here's the cloud where the new person is. Then Bob points to that new person. When I do Bob.name equals Bob, it sets the name field equal to Bob. And the next line will set money equal to 100. Now, when I create a new variable called Nancy, I set Nancy equal to Bob not meaning that Nancy is a whole copy of Bob, but Nancy actually points to the same object that Bob does. Therefore, when I do Nancy.name is equal to Nancy, I follow what Nancy points to, take that out, and make it equal to Nancy. Now, both what Bob points to and what Nancy points to has the name of Nancy and money 100. Therefore, when I print this, Bob's name Bob, name, Nancy. Bob, money, Bob, money, 100. Nancy, Nancy, name, Nancy. Nancy, money, Nancy, money is 100. Now, the output would be entirely different if I were to create a brand new instance of the object and instead do the following. Now, rather than having two variables that both point to the same object, I've got two variables that point to different objects because here on line 9 I've now created a brand new object. When I run it, the items are separate. Bob is $100, Nancy has $0. What exactly is happening when we're doing these different types of references and pointers? Inside the computer, the computer memory is just one really long block of address spaces where we can store numbers. It starts at zero and goes all the way up to a really large number, let's say like two billion or so. Then where things are stored is somewhere inside of this memory. When you create an object and you do person, open close parentheses, what the computer does is it finds a block of free memory out here allocates that to person, so this is your person, that cloud that we created, and what it gives back to you is a memory address, and it'll look something like 1E72. It's a hexadecimal number, and to make sure that we realize it's hexadecimal numbers, because sometimes hexadecimal numbers might look something like this, 10, 8, 9, and it's actually hex, but it looks like a decimal number, we usually prepend a 0 and an X. 
This means it's a hex number. Okay, that's a zero and an X. I see I'm falling off the screen here a little bit. The address that we get back is what points to this particular item. If I do B, O, B, Bob equals person, actually what Bob equals is a reference to this 1, E, 7, 2. Think of it as like a phone number. Therefore, if Nancy is equal to, as well, 1, E, 7, 2, both Nancy and Bob in our computer have the same phone number. They're actually the same person. Therefore, if I call up Bob and I say, Bob, you have $100, then I call up Nancy at that same address and say, Nancy, you've got a hundred or you got two hundred dollars. Then really all the issue is that, is that I have a very confusing name inside of my address book because both Bob and Nancy in my little computer address book for the memory point to the same spot in memory. Therefore, keep in mind when we're working with classes and also when we're working with lists, the same thing would happen if I were to do Bob equals, and then I had a list, 3, 8, 9. If you did Nancy equals Bob, then they're both going to point to the same spot in memory, which would have 3, 8, and 9 stuck in the memory.